Once you have your stories fleshed out in your head and down on paper, now is the time to start writing your speech properly. Take the downloadable document here in the course details as a starting off point and start writing down the speech for flow with your beginning, middle and end in place. Feel free to take as much time as you want to cut and move parts around to change the order to see which flows into which part best. When you think you have your first full draft, now is the time to read it out loud, as it is without editing it at all. Read it as you've written it. If there are parts that feel awkward, don't change them yet. Just keep going until you get to the end. If you're new to speeches, this is going to feel quite awkward, but it is hugely necessary. We're training your mind to be comfortable repeating the words you've written so they will flow out with ease during the speech on the big day. As you read through the speech, you will start to see whether parts of the speech work best as a written story and which parts work best when spoken. A speech, by its very title, is spoken, so the language and the tempo have to match your speaking voice. It's a new skill for many, as you might not have written a text before that is designed to be spoken rather than read. Reading out loud is vitally important here, and the second time you do it, now you can start to make the edits and rephrase things that might not be that easy to say or to help stop yourself from tripping over the words. This part will take a while as you get the whole flow of the document ready. Once you have everything the way you want it to sound, this time read it out loud as you time yourself. Remember, you're working to a time of a maximum of five minutes. If you're going past the 10 minute mark, it's time to start getting ruthless with your cutting. As you look at the different stories and anecdotes, try placing them up to the filters of, does this make the couple look good? Even if it's a bit of a funny or embarrassing story in parts. Does it give insight into the good qualities of their characters? Does it give a possible view on their future together? Or does it serve as a touching way to remember a shared history? It's best to leave out stories about people who are not going to be present if possible, especially if it's highlighting somebody who has passed away or is unable to attend. This is hugely personal and it might be relevant in some situations, but a wedding day is about the future and the two people coming together. While it may be important to reference some important family members who are unable to be there, having this cloud over the day may affect the entire atmosphere in a negative way. As you work through the stories, it's a good rule of thumb to make sure that you have a happy or funny story before the toast, as it helps to get everybody back into the atmosphere and the mood of the day. It won't be easy to cut back on anecdotes and shared memories, but you have to find a way of getting the stories shorter or cutting them completely if they don't fit in with the tempo of the speech. A great way to help with your editing is to have someone help you. Ideally, it won't be somebody in the wedding party, as they might have other things to do with their own speeches, but your partner or a trusted friend or relative can be a great confidential sounding board once you've finished your second draft, before you get into the practicing, just to vet the content and the tone of the speech. This second opinion can give you some more clarity to a story, or be able to tell you if a particular story might not be suitable for some of the older guests. The reason you want to do this before you start properly practicing is you will undoubtedly refine the stories and anecdotes and include your gestures and pace. So, what you want to go through with your second opinion will actually not be as amazing as what you're going to deliver on the day, but it will help you to fine-tune the content and they'll still be able to enjoy the speech on the wedding day and be quietly proud of themselves for helping you with it.